one of the central teachings of Buddhism and is considered the path to the end of suffering and attainment of enlightenment. The Eightfold Path is divided into eight interconnected components. Here are some and how they've helped me. We're trying to do something that is extraordinary. We're not trying to be ordinary. Being ordinary has not gotten us to the places where we desire to be within the expectations we have for ourselves. And that is why they attached the first word, which is extra, to the ordinary. So that means we have to do things that are extra. And one where when we are doing something extra, that means we have to put forth endurance. The right endurance and also we have to put a lot of focus and attention to the right efforts that we put forth trying to endure endurance. The results of our endurance the results of our habits, the results of our actions we are putting forth. Aren't always going to be tastefully blissful. They're not always going to leave a sweet taste in your mouth in the beginning because it is something new. And a lot of us, when we taste something new, we have an indifference in our opinion about what is happening, what we are digesting, what we are tasting, what we are feeling. You're not sure if it is nutrient or it is something of artificial flavoring. We need time to digest is this the flavor and taste I was looking for or is this just another masked uh, hidden attachment through being uh, complacent with what we have been getting in the previous has to be multiple forms and multiple um, activities that create mindfulness and bring you to states of calm mindedness so you can also process and use that as a way to elevate and self mastery. Erratic behaviors, erratic actions are signs that there is a lot of instability in the thoughts uh, and in the thinking. Not only your thinking, your thoughts. Establish a pattern of mindfulness, a pattern of wholesome actions and know that these actions bring good results. And these actions, they grow and they change also. You might be doing a pattern that brings you success, 
for some time until it is let until it is time to let that go because you need to elevate and go extra in that behavior that causes uh, wholesomeness. Establishing a mindful pattern, mindful usage of your effort, your actions, your your behaviors, your 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 doings, you'll see that it is not only going to be formal sitting meditation, it's going to transfer into other repetitious actions that you do. And it is going to assess is this a place where mindfulness can be um, practiced. You start to develop a kindred love and desire to keep the mindfulness, to keep the wisdom that you're developing with you at all times, not just in meditation practice. Your development is going to be from sitting and walking meditation. It'll it'll transfer transfer into sweeping, cleaning meditation, and it will also develop and keep developing into all of your actions that you do are states where uh, awareness, concentration, mindfulness, and the development of your wisdom can start to uh, spread. And that's the mindset that you want to stay in all the time is being aware of your breath, being aware of what takes or gives to your breath, and what activities that you are doing uh, are causing your mind to lose focus and work on it slowly. Don't, Don't kill your efforts because you didn't feel good about the session of mindfulness that you lost or gained. It's a work in progress. It takes a while. You make sure that when you're by yourself, that your mind is focused with yourself. If your mind is focused on outside of what's going on, then you'll be subject to the changes of what's going on outside. said brothers and sisters thank you for watching my small dumb talk and if I've said something that goes against the Lord Buddha the Dhamma or the Sangha uh, drop everything that I've said and follow those who are much more qualified than I am to speak about the uh, practices of more mindfulness I am not a scholar I'm not a meditation master, nor am I a scholar in Buddhist philosophy. I am a monk that has uh, been using uh, Vipassana.